I am planning, been planning to do this video for a little bit. I am finally having the time to sit down and do this while the kids are napping. Yay for that. Um, so we just got back from our cruise a couple weeks ago. We had a super busy week last week and we didn't have time to video or film anything. It was a nuts so week. Um, so today we're kind of back to our normal routine. I had my day off um, during the week. So this is the day that I plan to get most of my stuff done, including this video. Um, today I want to talk about our cruise, how it went, the things that um, we should have brought with us or shouldn't have brought with us because I feel like there's a, uh, we, I definitely way overpacked. Number one, first and foremost, cruise packing videos, a lot of that stuff that I took, um, mostly clothes. I feel like the accessories and those type of things, I probably would pack again, but my clothes, I would, yeah, a little bit, just a little bit of clothes. They have a washer and dryer on board first and foremost, so if I say anything, it's don't bring as many clothes as I did. So there you have it. Um, so just in review, we went on the Disney Wonder out of San Diego five nights. Um, we were supposed to go to Ensenada and Cabo, but our Ensenada port got canceled due to Hurricane Rosa, which is totally fine. I wasn't really planning to do too much in Ensenada anyways. Um, so we had an extra day at sea, so we actually enjoyed it immensely. Um, Sunday night, we left Sunday night out of San Diego. We had a day at sea Monday, a day at sea Tuesday, and then Wednesday was our Cabo day. Then day at sea again, then back on Friday in San Diego early in the morning for deparkation. Um, five night cruise, thoughts on that with the young children. I felt like it was great. I didn't have any issues on this cruise traveling with our kids. They were so well behaved. We enjoyed all of our family time. It was just really, really great. Um, would we take a longer cruise? Yes. Would we take a shorter cruise? You betcha. We would do any of the Disney cruises. It was just, I cannot say enough how fantastic it was. The service was fantastic. Our experience was wonderful. We were all sad to get off the boat. I don't even know if a seven day cruise, a 14 day cruise would be long enough because we had such a great time. Okay, back to action here. I uh, had to check on the kiddos real quick. So where were we? Service. Um, the service was just phenomenal. I mean, I think I've already said that, but we enjoyed it so much. We just felt like we were totally spoiled. I don't know. I mean, we live in Vegas, so we have, um, it's a service industry town. So for us to say that the service was amazing, I mean, it was amazing. Like, there was not an unhappy day that I had there. Um, we enjoyed every aspect of it. Everybody was so wonderful, so nice. I'm sure that those people who work on those cruise ships are very tired. They are constantly working, but you would not know it because they were so friendly, so attentive to anything. Um, it actually made me feel a little bad for them. I felt sad that they were having to work so hard. Um, so that was the only thing I kind of struggled with was I didn't want to over ask people to do things. I know they're tired. I appreciate them just being friendly and nice and helping me and my kids with the things that we need. They didn't even have to go over and above the things that they did. It was just um, an extra thing and an extra benefit, I felt like. But um, the servers, we had just amazing service at our dinners. Our stateroom host was fantastic. We had no issues with that at all. Um, it was just great. I think the one thing that really stood out to us was our servers, first and foremost. They were great, but um, our stateroom host would always make us a little animal. Um, and then when we got off the boat in Cabo, it was hot. It was way hot. It was hot. It was humid. We were hot by the time we got back on the boat. And when we got on the dock to tender, because we had to ride a tender small boat to get back to our, our ship, when we got on the dock to tender, they had ice cold little towels for your neck to wipe your face off. They had in fruit infused water with oranges or lemon or just plain ice water. They wanted everybody to take a cool towel, cool off get some water. So um, I thought that that was just a really neat touch. I've been on two cruises before with a different cruise line and that was not something that they would even, I don't know if they do that, but um, I just felt, I remembered that and I felt like that was very nice of them to think about our health and um, making sure that everybody had water. And they were pretty adamant. They wanted people to drink water. They wanted you to drink some water before you got on the boat. So that way they knew you're kind of trying to take care of yourself, stay hydrated. 
So I thought that was amazing. Um, kind of leading up to that is the cleanliness. The cleanliness, is people were always cleaning. That You could not find a dirty spot on that ship. It was just immaculate. Um, another thing that I really liked, I am a working mom. I've said that before, but I'm a nurse. Um, so for me, having um, cleanliness and infection control were super just top notch. They had hand sanitizer everywhere. When you got off the boat, you had to hand sanitize. When you got on the boat, you had to hand sanitize. When you went to Cabana's, the buffet, to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, you just wanted a snack, everybody had to wash their hands. Soap and water. Um, so that was just, made my little, my little heart just skip a beat, seeing everybody wash their hands. Um, when you went into dinner every night at the dinner, um, the dining rooms, you had hand sanitizing wipes. Everybody had to have a hand sanitizing wipe. There was somebody handing them out to you. Um, so it just, I just thought that was amazing. I thought that it was great that they were worried about um, infection control, um, being in tight quarters. And I'm, like I said, been on other cruise lines that wash your hands or no, we don't care. So this to me was great. They were trying to make sure everybody left as well as could be. I'm sure people got colds. We for were fortunate enough that we didn't get sick right away. So we got to enjoy coming home. We had, um, you know, a good break from, from real life sickness. Um, so that being said, the dinners were probably something that we are going to remember the most also, not just because of the service, but because of the atmosphere. With Disney, you do rotational dining. So we had, um, every night we, there was three different, um, restaurants that we not get to choose from. We were assigned to, uh, the first one we went to is Triton's, and it had like a Little Mermaid theme, um, King Triton, you know, from Little Mermaid. So my daughter really liked that. The food um, was just, you know, I wouldn't even say the food was amazing. The second um, place we ate was Animator's Palette. Oh my goodness, it was so cool. Everything starts off in black and white, then goes to color. Um, they have like a theme for the night that was just super awesome. I loved it. The kids loved it. The first night Mickey Mouse came out, um, Sorcerer Mickey, and did a little show at the end. It was great. Um, and the second night we were at Animator's Palette again, and it was pirate night. So they had Pirates of the Caribbean, all pirate themed stuff um, on the, the videos around us. Check out my previous vlogs. Um, I think it is Disney Cruise Vlog 2. It has uh, the pirate night things. We you just cannot say enough about pirate night. We are pirate people. It was amazing. And then on the fourth night, let's see, day, night one, night two, night three. So then on the fourth night, we went to Tiana's place. And I just I just love Tiana's place. It's jazz kitchen. So it's um, Louisiana's type cuisine, uh, shrimp and grits. It was just, I just loved it. Beignets for... For dessert, it was just the best. Tiana, they had a jazz band playing throughout it. They had Tiana and uh, Louis the alligator came and played his um, trumpet and everybody got to get up and do a parade and they gave us Mardi Gras beads. It was just so much fun. I just can't even tell you how much fun it was. It was just, I get goosebumps talking about it because it was so much fun. Um, we just enjoyed every part of the dining. The service made it the best. Our waiters were amazing. Uh, Oceaneers Club for kids 3 to 12. My son was 3. He had his little magic band thingy. He could clock in and clock out of kids club and we take him there. He didn't even want to hang out with us. He wanted to be in the kids club. He loved it so, so much. So um, I thought that that was cool. He didn't feel sad. He didn't feel abandoned when we take him there. He requested to go there at least once a day. So we he enjoyed that part of it. We enjoyed it. Um, the nursery, Kendall, my daughter, was only two, so she couldn't go to the Oceaneers Club. So we had to book some nursery time for her. I knew that was going to be a problem. She does not like to leave us, and she likes to be with her brother. So it was definitely uh, touch and go. We did it for the and one day, and she made it about an hour in there, and poor thing, all the kids in the nursery at that time were crying. I think every person that had a child booked in the nursery then had to come pick them up because they were all so sad. Um, I thought it was cool, though, because when we walked in, Jake from Jake and the Never Neverline Pirates, Pirates was in the nursery playing with all the little kids, and I just thought that that was a sweet touch. They had characters come through the nursery and the Oceaneers Club and Oceaneers Lab, um, so that way they could... Um, 
you know, not miss out on those things. And I thought that was really neat. I didn't know that they did that. Um, despite that, she still was mm -mm, not happening. So she went for like an hour one day, and then that was it. Then she spent the rest of the time with us. And that's fine. That's what we were there for, to spend time as a family. So it did not bother my husband and, and me at all. We got to spend an hour together out on the adults only poolside, um, quiet cove, have some mimosas and some hot tub time and swimming and just relaxing for about an hour before we had to go get her. So it was, it worked out totally fine. Entertainment wise, they had so much for families. I just, I loved that part of it. Um, they had family games that you could play. They had, um, you know, uh, in the lounges, in the D lounge, and the promenade lounge, there on the Disney Wonder, you could play Disney trivia. There was a game show. So there was all sorts of entertainment. So we we enjoyed that as a family a lot. We did some sort of activity like that every day. Um, in the evening time, they had three different shows on this this boat. Three different like Broadway type shows. Um, I don't know if they're Broadway type, but I mean they were great. We loved them. So they had the Golden Mickey's, which was. Just kind of like it can remind me a lot of like Disney on Ice that type of thing storytelling and they had one called Disney Dreams I believe it was same thing also really cool had Peter Pan in it my daughter loved that one and the best one was Frozen they had Frozen and it was I've seen Frozen at Disneyland at Disney California Adventure this Frozen was better than any live Frozen I'm pretty sure is out there it was amazing I just I, I was blown away by it it was awesome um, so we enjoyed we enjoyed that immensely. Um, that was kind of it for the family entertainment that we enjoyed. Adults only, like I said, there's an adult only side adult pool lounge, and that was awesome. It was so quiet. There, it was not very busy, probably because I don't know. Maybe there weren't a lot of adults there without kids. So most of the time that we went over there, it wasn't ever busy, and it was quiet. Um, I was expecting it. You could hear like the over. Um, the sounds from the, the you know the family side but you couldn't it was the music was totally different the atmosphere was different the lounge chairs were nicer they were padded they had pillows so um, if you're an adult and you want to take this cruise and you're not sure if it's for you because there's a lot of kids it would be okay um, in my opinion I felt like it was great um, the one thing I wish that we would have done my husband and I is gone to the crown and anchor pub they had like hot wings and football. I think that would have been really right up our alley, especially Thursday night or even, I don't know if they did anything. I'm sure Monday night they had Monday night football there, but they always had some kind of sports on and they had American NFL League there. So I wish we would have done that. That would have been a lot of fun. I wish we would have gotten to go there more. Character experiences. We got to meet all the characters, Minnie, Mickey, you know, the, the big five were always around. Um, we had to have special tickets to meet the princesses, and that was fine, too. Um, I'm glad we did. We enjoyed it. It was very well organized. We got to meet Elsa um, with a special ticket. You don't have to pay extra, but you do have to book it ahead of time, and it, that worked out just fine for us, too. It was neat because it was an animator's palette, and they had, like, it turned down, the temperature turned down, so it was kind of chilly, or at least it felt like it was. And all around us, and all the screens were... Um, like snowing and it looked like it had been frosted over by her eyes so we thought that was really cool um, and uh, those were our main character experiences Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, those are, and Captain America my son got to meet Captain America so he was super excited about that um, like we said we got to do one port adventure we went to a beach break in Cabo I was utterly surprised at how beautiful Cabo was I don't know what I was expecting I was expecting like a desert by the ocean which it was a little bit more, um, you know, rocky, those type of things. It looked like, to me, like the Pacific Northwest in a tropical place, but it's warm and humid. The rock formations and the beaches were just different than I've ever seen, and I thought it was beautiful. I thought the water was going to be, um, you know, darker, but you could snorkel if you wanted to and still have good visibility. It's not like, um, you know, the Caribbean Ocean or anything like that, but it is more visibility than you'd see, like, in the in the water um, at the beaches in California for sure. Um, I was surprised at how humid it was. I'm not really sure why and how hot it was, but it was beautiful. I would go back to Cabo in an instant. It was amazing. I wish we could have spent more time there. We did do the beach break. We had a lot of fun. It's like two hours. It's perfect amount of time off the boat for our kids. The kids are young, so it was easy to get to. They fed us lunch. We ate lunch, and then we got back on the bus and went right back to the port, and it was easy peasy. I was surprised, and I had read in reviews before we went about how strong the current is um, in Cabo. 
you have to be watching your kids if you go to Cabo and play on the beach because the tide, the tide is so strong that goes in and out. And if we didn't have a hold of them, even kind of up high on the, in, on the um, tide break, their feet would just like go out from underneath them. So that's my advice. If you're going with young kids to Cabo, watch them in the ocean unless you have a life jacket or something on. So packing wise, like I said, we way overpacked. Um, clothes, I wish we would have brought just like more like shirts and t-shirts throughout the day and then a couple maybe changes of outfits to have a little bit nicer for dinner just because we didn't get formal dressed up. I did like to, I did enjoy us all to kind of clean up, freshen up and look good for dinner time. So I would definitely recommend just having a couple things you can maybe rewear for the days that you're on the boat, just doing activities and those type of things. And then changes of clothes for the evening. I, I way overpacked our clothes. Um, it was nice to have a light sweater, a light sweatshirt for all of us. It did get cool in the dining area, so the kids and I both needed a light sweater. So that was something. We used two swimsuits. You need two swimsuits. Uh, it takes. We were in the pools doing some kind of water activities. If you were a fan of the water and want to be in the water, it's nice to have a dry one, that's for sure. Um, so two swimsuits. <laughs> Things we didn't need. We didn't need so many shoes. We brought way too many shoes. I wish I would have had like a pair of flip-flops to wear out on deck, maybe an extra pair that can kind of like a nicer-ish pair that can go to dinner to walk around in. Maybe if you felt like getting a little bit a little bit more dressed that day, a nicer t-shirt, I don't know. Um, a pair of tennis shoes and maybe some, I didn't wear any wedges at all and maybe like some flats. That's it. That's all I would bring next time for for me. My kids needed Crocs, or if your kids are bigger and you know they wear flip-flops for the pool, um, and maybe a pair of just nice sandals is what they wore, and some tennis shoes. That's it. That's all that they need. Um, we brought a USB multi-charger. Didn't need it. Didn't use it. Had nothing to charge except this camera and our water camera, and we just kind of switched out things. I don't know that I'd bring that again. There were two hair dryers in our room, one in the bathroom, one at the vanity. You don't need a hair dryer. Um, shampoo, conditioner, and soap is provided and it really smells good and is good quality so unless you have like special things that you need for me it doesn't matter I kind of just use whatever. Um, we brought a thing of dish soap what I wished I would have done I saw somebody else's video it was very smart I wish I would have done this but just cut up a sponge and put it in a plastic bag and then like drizzled soap dish soap over it so you could wash like your little cups um, um, that you brought your water cups. Um, extra night light. We didn't use our night light at all. Um, one thing we always bring with us right now because we have young kids who are potty trained but you know still have nighttime accidents is those like um, they're under pads but they're you know heavy duty. We always bring two of those with us when we travel to hotels just in case like you know um, somebody has an accident or is sick and those type of things that can catch it and you can just wash it the next day. But Disney thought of that on those bunk beds. They already had those on there. So we didn't use ours at all. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and then we brought our trick or treat buckets. They provide bags. We knew that. Um, I wish I wouldn't have brought our trick or treat buckets because my kids weren't really into Halloween that much this time for whatever reason. They were excited before we left and wanted to bring them. And then once we got there, they didn't really want them. They wanted to use the bags that they provided, but they did both, so that's one thing. A couple things we could have brought to save space in our suitcase. Um, what I wished we would have brought, some things I wished I would have brought, I wish I would have brought a regular watch. I had my Fitbit that syncs to my phone for time change. We changed time zones, which I didn't know that we were going to, I didn't think we would. So I wish that I would have brought a regular watch because we want, we liked, even though we're on vacation, I'm very time oriented, so I need to know what time it is. It really bothers me to not know what time it is. I don't know that ever in my life I'll ever not need to know what time it is. It is like the constant question I have in my life. And not only that, but you have your cruise navigator that tells you what time, what characters. So if you want to do things and do activities, you have to kind of know what time it is. So I wish I would have had um, a regular watch. I'm a nurse too, so nurses wear, we wear our watches. Our watches are like life. So I have to remember that for next time, bring a regular watch. Um, we had a air freshener in our toilet bathroom. Four people, buffets, eating a lot, that's not enough. We wished, I wished I would have brought some poopery, the, the spray for the toilet, um, you need it. 
Let me just say that. Let's be real. Let's be honest. So um, I wish I would have brought those two things. Um, things I'm glad we had. The first night that we were on the boat on Sunday night and Monday, beautiful weather. The sun was shining the entire time we were on the boat. But because of the hurricane on Monday and where we were locationed and as the hurricane, we went around it. Um, but it, the, we were we were rocking. It didn't bother me. I took Dramamine. I'm glad we had Dramamine and I'm glad we had extra Dramamine because we all needed a little bit of it, but it didn't bother us enough um, to, to need to take it all the time. Um, we brought our little diffuser, my little travel diffuser, and I'm so glad we had that because um, it helped us all relax at night and it had a little nightlight made into it. I didn't know that until I plugged it in because it's the first time I've used it. But I love that thing. It's going with us everywhere, so I'm glad that we brought that. Our underwater camera, um, waterproof camera, I'm really glad we had that so we could, you know, have it there for when we were in Cabo. And our water bottles. Life-saving, that is the best tip I found um, on other YouTube videos, was to bring your water bottles. So that's what we did. Refillable water bottles. You can fill it up with soda, water, juice, coffee, hot cocoa, whatever you want. So that was great. Another tip, when you're on the boat, you have those, if you just, don't want to bring those. They have like cups for like cold beverages and cups for hot beverages. Coffee and hot cocoa that have the lids that are styrofoam. They have little kids. We just use those most of the time if they were out on deck and we didn't have our water bottles with us. So I don't know. In hindsight, I don't know that I would bring a water bottle to be quite honest. It was nice to have at nighttime. We'd fill them up before dinner or right after dinner so we'd have them um, to go to like the evening show and those type of things and the kids liked that so that was the one thing nice I think it was nice to have and when we got off the boat we filled up our water bottles and it was good to have water ready to go if we needed it because it was so hot. Um, our phones, we used our phones on the Disney Cruise Line app. I'm glad that we did it but we ended up using just the navigator and knowing what time it was more than that. Than that. Um, it has like a texting option you can text people in your in your party or your group, but it doesn't alert you if you have a new message, so uh, we didn't use it that much. Um, when our kids were at the kids club or the Oceaneers club or the nursery, we just took the wave phones. It's called a wave, like a ocean wave phone with us wherever we go and it, it worked better than having our cell phones. I never got the messages from the kids club um, on my cell phone through the app, so I'm glad we took the wave phones with us. Um, also, something I'm really glad we had was laundry detergent because my son, the first night in the hotel room before we left, um, I don't know if he ate too much junk food or, hi girlfriend, what you doing? We're going to pause real quick. So anyway, long story short, we used the laundry detergent, Cole was kind of sick, not sure why, but um, we did use our laundry detergent twice with young children, <laughs> bring some laundry detergent. They had laundry detergent at our hotel and on the boat that you could buy, but coal is super sensitive. We have to use just kind of plain Jane stuff without a lot of sense, otherwise his skin kind of gets broken out. So that's something I'll probably always bring with us. Um, we didn't do a ton of shopping on the boat. We did a little bit. We bought a few things that we could have. Uh, we didn't want to do like shirts and stuff. We wanted stuff for the kids so that way they could have. We got postcards and sent those out to family when we got back. What else did we get? Oh, every night with the with the shows, they had popcorn in. I thought it was cool that you could get the popcorn buckets like they sell um, in the parks. And so this one was just the Disney Parks Halloween bucket. I just love it because it looks old school. It looks like from when I was a kid, kind of. So we got two of these, one for each kid. You bought it for like $10, I think. I'm not sure. I have no idea how much it costs, to be quite honest. And then um, every night you fill it up for $1.50 a popcorn. So every night we w when we went to a show, we filled up our popcorn buckets. We just carried them with us in our backpack. Um, no, we didn't. We'd go get them after our um, dinner every night and get popcorn. So we got two of those. And then C Cody and I got... Um, Drink of the day cups, drink of the day cups. Doot, doot, doot. So every day we had drink of the day. So we kind of knew when we go to the pool, we brought these with us and we'd get a uh, drink of the day filled up in this. I think it made it cheaper. It's like that much more drink than just getting a regular drink. But it's little mementos. And I think you can bring these with you when you go on another cruise and they'll honor the drink of the day thing. I'm not sure if that's right. I heard somebody say that. Um, if you know, let me know because I'm interested to know that. Um, 
kids, I, let, I did let them pick out a stuffed animal. We have like a gazillion stuffed animals, but now we have two more. Uh, Kendall picked out Sailor Donald Duck. I think he's just awesome and super cute. And Cole picked out um, Pluto, Pirate of the Caribbean Pluto. So <laughs> we got those two guys. Um, we do we do pick out, we, we travel and we go on vacation. So um, we got some on the Disney Wonder. This one just says uh, Mexico on it. And it kind of has some of the things. It just says 2018 Mexico and on the back. It says Disney Wonder, Disney Cruise Line, and then the kids, I got them the exact same, same ornament, just Mickey and Minnie on an anchor. Um, I thought that was super cute, so they have those two things. I did get a mug, because I thought this was just really cool. It has an anchor on it, it says Disney Cruise Line on the other side, and um, Animator's Palette has these really cute little butter knives, and so I got one of these. They sell these, and I use it every single day for my kids when I make them breakfast. So, I love it. It's so cute. Will we take another cruise? Yes, we will. We've booked a cruise for next year, um, a merry time cruise, which means like the Christmas time cruise. So, we will be doing that next year um, in 2019. Um, not on the dis not from San Diego, out of Port Canaveral, the four night um, Bahamas cruise with some of, our, some of our family. So, we're excited about that. Um, when you're on the boat, you can actually book a cruise or a placeholder if you book a cruise it's like 10% off plus if you're like a seven night cruise seven night or more cruise nights you get a $200 stateroom credit less than seven it's a hundred dollar stateroom credit so there's some benefits to booking while you're on the boat um, we don't have anything like plan plan for a couple years we'll have kids starting into school so we'll have to see how that goes um, but yeah overall we had a great time we were definitely hooked on Disney Cruise Line uh, and we can't wait to go next year. Um, so check out my other videos or cruise packing. I did do some cruise packing videos and also some dis some vlogging on the boat. We mostly just enjoyed our family time, so the vlogs are kind of pieced out. And um, when I did remember to vlog or those type of things is when I did it. I didn't want to have a schedule. I didn't want to have anything that I had to do on the boat. I wanted to enjoy just enjoy the time as a family and that's what we did. We had a great time. It was a great vacation for us. Um, so check out our other videos. Give this video a like and thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to too and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. So give us a like and a subscribe. And a subscribe. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.